I had a pretty good trajectory with climbing until about 2004 when I started to have panic attacks. I think it's a habit climbers get into. If you're standing near a rock, you sort of unconsciously start feeling for hold. And I uh, began to work with a psychiatrist and he gave me these pills. When they're working, which they do at first, you really don't experience anxiety on them. This is a picture with my sister, my daughter, myself. I had an infection after having her, and instead of being given an antibiotic, I'm given Ativan. I am so messed up in the head in this picture, and nobody can tell which way you want to go. You pick. Bellevue. You want to go Bellevue? All right, we'll go Bellevue. Now, this is when I'm still healthy. I'm working full time and renovating the house. Look at how happy. And you don't know what's coming down the road. Hi, how can I help you? I'm here to pick up a prescription for Scott Peterson. I picked up your prescriptions. It oh, feels really clammy. I was looking through some of our old photographs. You know, I wanted to find some of these reminders to know who I'm fighting for. What kind of tea do you want? Oh, the decaf chai. My belief was that the people prescribing these pills would know how to help you get off of them safely, but they don't. Early on, it was insomnia, one to two hours of sleep a night, horrible digestive issues, hallucinations. It often feels like my teeth are being electrified. You can have all that stuff going on at once. You just think, I can't take another second of this because from the tip of my pinky toe to the tallest hair on my head, everything in me is just rotten. Welcome. This is public hearing for the Mental Health and Substance Abuse Committee. As I started the support group, I thought one day, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we have 100 people in the group? It then went up to 200, 300, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. I am here to share my story of benzodiazepine withdrawal. It really was like a dimension of hell opened up. It took me two and a half years to taper off a legal pharmaceutical. This is my son before benzos. Ultimately, he lost hope. He took his own life. He was 42 years old. OK. A lot of work waiting for me at the office. How in the world is, is it okay that somebody could be put on as many of the medications that Scott is put on, all as a direct result of the benzodiazepine he was initially prescribed? I lost a friend last fall, and he was calling me really suicidal. And I was trying to get him to see that it was the benzos, and he got out of that hospital, and within a day, he killed himself. All right, the rope's ready, guys. I'm going to bust, Alex. And at this point, it's almost a, a point of pride. It's like, if I kill myself, you know, those motherfuckers who poisoned me win. World Benzo Awareness Day. Oh. I hear that you are, like, the woman to talk to. You've well, been doing this for a while. A long time. Yeah. For 50 years, nobody wants to pay attention to this problem, and it's huge. But there's a big movement going on people all over the country, all over the world, are making these videos and posting them. I'd like to thank all these brave people for turning out today. So it was a really good opportunity for many people who have come from so far away, from Okinawa, from Kyoto, from all over Japan. I'm from Canada. I'm from India. I'm from Mexico. I'm from the UK. I'm from Indonesia. I'm from Indonesia. I'm from South Wales, Australia. I'm from Serbia. I'm from Suisse. I'm from Suisse. From Nigeria. I'm from Portugal. 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 It's torture.